welcome to my house. Come on in. So this is um, my living room. I've put floral wallpaper on the walls and up the top I've put the Osborne and Little Star wallpaper, which I absolutely love. This whole room was inspired by this lamp that I bought in Paris. I just wanted something really dark and homely and, and to make it really cosy in here and I think I've kind of achieved that look here. We're in my dressing room now and it's a bit of a working progress at the moment. I haven't quite finished it. Um, I did put the House of Hackney wallpaper on and it's so wonderful. It's got lovely clear flowers that go sort of all the way down and obviously at the end it's very blurry and it goes into navy. I'm going to put lots of white amours in here and make it look very French. So as I'm sure you have gathered, this is the playroom. I decided to use Zoffany wallpaper. I've got a bit of a long-standing affair with Zoffany. I love all their stuff. With the ceiling being quite at an angle, it did look very weird with just having it white, so I decided to wallpaper the whole lot. And I really like the way it's turned out. I especially like it with the chandelier. I think it makes it look really warm and lovely. So we are now in my daughter Betty's room and I had actually painted this a wonderful lemon colour and she was really, really pleased with it. And then one day I was looking online at wallpapers and she saw this wallpaper and she said, Mummy, Mummy, I want that wallpaper. And I said, well, we'll have to wait and see because we've just done your room. It looks really, really lovely. And I'm afraid, you know, we can't get it. Anyway, this went on for six months and then finally it is up and it does actually look very nice. And it goes with the bed, which is quite sweet. And I suppose when she grows out of it, we'll just paint it back with that lovely lemon colour. This bathroom was actually leopard skin print that I bought and I was really unhappy with it because it was very, very dark. And I just thought if I could have something a bit fun and quirky, so I went for the Dupony girls that are sort of tea girls. And I think it works really well with the blue and the grey. So you've been around my house, you've seen all the rooms. I'm really happy with the way it looks. I've just got this one dilemma with the hallway. So I've invited a couple of friends to help me with my problem. And uh, here they are. Hiya. Hi, how Hi. are you? How are you? We're good. <laughs> good. The wallpaper counsellors have arrived. Yes. Yeah, it's like, okay. Help is at hand. Help is yes. at hand. So Pearl, when you lived in London, everything was what, clean and modern? and now you've changed that you've moved to the country. I never used wallpaper before. This is all a new concept for me. And you know, in London it was very minimalistic, very modern. But when I moved here, it was all about fabrics. It was all about, you know, mixing, you know, prints with fabrics, with wallpaper with. So it's a whole new experience. And the inspiration of where you've now moved to, um, because it reminds me very much of the sort of um, Edith Sitwell period and Stephen Tennant and all these 30s characters yeah. that used to, you know, furnish their homes with really almost scandalous patterns. You seem to be into that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I, it's really funny that you used to say that because all the, the, the dresses that I design are 30s and that's my era, that's the thing I love the most. Um, if I could go back in time, that would be where I'd live, you know. I mean, I, I find it um, great coming here because uh, the, the trend for fashion is very much back on colour now, really big on colour. And also on printed textiles, they come back into their own. Yeah. Uh, and a lot, you know, most collections now feature prints big time. And, and particularly, I mean, there's two ongoing trends uh, at the moment. One is for this sort of Roberto Cavalli inspired animal print thing, which is oh, just yeah. never seems to stop. <laughs> and then these big country house floral prints um, and I can see that going on for the next few years. And it's really reflected in what's happening in the home. I don't know if you find well, it, the same. The, I think from catwalk to the ho home has become a much quicker journey. Yeah. You can see fashion and tell wh where wall coverings in particular and fabrics are going to follow. It's, it's really interesting. You've got to the situation where you've got a different style in every room, but yeah. now, with the main hall, you've now got to actually make that whole thing work together. Well, this is it because I, th I didn't want to do something that was completely, you know, contrasting what I've done everywhere else. So I've got to now make it work with each room and with the carpet. How does she go about doing that now? Well, <laughs> yeah, exactly. challenge. 
Well, uh, as we've said, the, the style of your home is fabulous and very confident. And I know you've chosen a lot of your wallpapers from Wallpaper Direct. Yes, um, and my favourite website. <laughs> <laughs> and we've looked at some designs. And I think the thing is, you can't bottle out in the hall, yeah. which you wouldn't do anyway. But the hall is such an important place. It's the first place you walk into, the first impression everybody gets. Well, Mel, this is quite a challenge. Uh, Pearl's obviously um, obsessed with wallpapers. <laughs> so she's got a real mixture of different design tastes within the house. And I'm a firm believer that when you open the door into a room off a hallway, there's something cohesive about it that hangs the thing together. Yeah, that is difficult for every room off this hall to work from it. But I think here we can be quite brave. Pearl clearly loves design and, and really that vintage floral look and I think a really strong wallpaper in here is going to work well. Is this a paste the wallpaper or paste the wall situation? If you paste the wall it's a much easier job but you must be careful to make sure you've got your scaffolding right, that you're safe when you're not balancing on banisters and so on, trying to match a paper up, particularly if it's a big design. Are you going to be restricted in the papers that you can choose? or Not, is it going to be easy? not at all. I think it'll be relatively easy to find something that will really work in this space and not be too difficult to hang. So Pearl, what do you think? Do you think we've uh, resolved your dilemma? Yeah, I think it looks amazing. I love the... The, the contrast of the wood colour and the co and it really goes with the Roger Oates carpet. It does. Yeah, I think you've done an amazing choice. I'm really, really happy. Thank you. Ooh, wow, it looks amazing. Gosh, oh God, I was so... I love the way it looks with the carpet and the ceiling. Yeah, I love it. I, I just think it's great how it all sort of pulls it, all everything in together. It's fantastic. It just sort of really matches and no, I'm really, really pleased with it.